Hi, so you've been thinking about joining two tables in Hadoop. Well, here it is. In this section and the upcoming section, I'm going to go through with you with the implementation of joining the two tables in Hadoop using MapReduce. Step by step, starting from acquiring the data, we have a sales or a data table, which is a table separated by a space. We also have a product table, which is the same, separated by space. We're going to combine those in a product ID. We're also going to go through the architecture of our classes. We have a class for a product and we have a class for sales order data. We also have a bunch of other classes that we are going to demonstrate what each one of them does and how we can use it to implement our project. We're also going to go through the actual implementation of the code and finally running the whole thing and getting our results. So without further ado, we're going to get our data, so go to this website here. I'm going to leave the website in the description and look for the AdventureWorks 2012 OLTB script. That is the file that we are going to use. Once you've downloaded that file, but I'm just going to pause now and show you how it is after extraction. So after I extracted the file, here you can see the contents of the file. We're going to need to go to the product and sales order data. So we have the product table and sales order data table. Let me show you how the sales or data table looks. As you can see here, here is the table. It's the 120,000 record separated by a space. And we also have a product table. And here also in the product table, we have almost 500 records, all separated by space. So if you want to know details about each one of those tables, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. You can just click on that and it can show you the details about the sales order data table and the product table. In the sales order table, you can find a bunch of fields here. We're going to use the product ID, the order quantity, and the line total. Those are the three fields that we need. And in the product table, we are going to use the product ID, the product name, and the product number. So now we're going to join those two tables on a product ID. So the best way to show you that is the SQL query. In our SQL query, we have a uh, product ID. We're going to select the product ID, the product name, and product number. And we are also going to get the sum of the order quantity and the line total from the sales order details table. We're going to join those two tables on the product ID of the two tables, where the order quantity is bigger than zero. And you should know joining two datasets in Hadoop can be implemented using two techniques, joining during the map phase and joining during the reduce phase. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate to you the reduce site technique, which is recommended when both datasets are large. So that's it for this section. See you in the next section where I'm going to demonstrate to you the architecture, how we are going to implement our project. And lastly, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more and more projects like this.